Hi everyone, I'm going to take you through some running drills today, some warm up exercises. I'm wearing again my Exogen wearable resistance calf sleeves for that. So we do warm ups uh, in order to get the body ready for what we're going to ask it to do, either a hard workout or a race. And by warming up properly, uh, of course, we're minimizing the risk of getting injured and we're maximizing our performance for what's going to come. So very important to warm up uh, correctly. So we use dynamic stretching, uh, which means we're introducing movement into the warm-up drills. Okay, these can be done inside or, or outside. Uh, you don't need much space, just need a flat piece of ground. Um, we're going to do, or I would recommend you do 45 seconds for each exercise and a little break in between, so 15 seconds, so about one minute in total per exercise. I'm going to show you 12 drills today, okay? So in terms of the Lila gear, we're going relatively light, so uh, I've only got two weights on each leg. So these are 100 grams, so I've got 200 on each leg, 400 in total. And I'm putting one on the front, one on the back, and I'm loading it proximal, so the weight's on the top rather than the bottom part of the leg. So that means it's a bit lighter, it's a bit easier. You don't want to load too high, too heavy, um, so go nice and easy, unless you're going to make the warm-up drills actually uh, like a bodyweight workout. And in that scenario, you, you could add a bit more weight or you could move the weight down. But for the drills, for warm-ups, we're going light and we're going proximal on the loading. Okay? So here we go. I'm going to show you 12 different exercises that you can do. First one is just a nice easy jog. So we're just starting to get the body warming up, we're getting the blood flowing I'm on my toes don't need too much of a knee lift so just nice and easy that's the first one, very straightforward okay, then we progress into fast feet, number two so this one you've got a high cadence definitely on your toe if you can we're working the arms already the heart rate comes up very quickly, okay? So that one if you're doing on the ground you can use sort of a 20 meter stretch across and back but all of these you can just do stationary like I'm doing at the moment. Okay, next one is for the ankles, just to loosen up the ankles. This is one of my favourites. Imagine your toes are stuck to the ground. So that's your movement first of all. Just get the hang of it, make sure you're nice and loose and you speed it up a bit. So just get rid of all the tension in your ankles and just flex in those joints. So that's what I call loose ankles. Okay, number four, butt kicks. Everyone knows this one. So we're kicking the back side. Our posture is upright. Still landing on the toe. And I'm working the arms, looking ahead. Next one, high knee. So my heart rate's already coming up, I'm starting to work. Starting to sweat a bit. So we're lifting the knees up. I'm still on the toe. I'm trying to be light on the landing. And I'm using the arm. Okay, high knee. So most runners will find those four, if you're doing those for 45 seconds, you're going to be puffing and panting a bit. So you want to bring it back down. So, nice one to do is a walking lunge. I'll go right to the back here. So, nice wide step, hands on the hips. One stage, two stage, drop it down. One stage, two stage. Fine. Two. I'll just show you from the side. So, one, get your balance. Down. Two. Down. Three. Down. So, you can do sort of 10 to 15 of those in a row. Don't rush that, take your time. Make sure your foot planting is correct. Don't let your knee go beyond your toes. Okay, that's the walking lunge. This one's my favorite of all time, hip circle. All of us have weak hips, we sit a lot. It's just a lazy muscle, it's a hard one to work. So this one's a great exercise. Lift the knee, extend, scrape the toe, kick it through in a circle. So I'll show you one, 
two, three, four, just like that. So you want to be upright, you don't want to be wobbling about, and you want your knee lift coming up. A lot of people find that difficult, and you see them kind of doing this, wobbling about, not much of a knee lift. That's a good indicator that the hips are weak, possibly also the core. So even when you're doing that, you're working both sides. You're working your stabilizing leg, and you're working the leg that you're moving. So that's the hip circle, great one. Okay, next one for the calf. Straight legs. Very important you land on your toe, not your heel. Everyone must land on the toe. When you're running that one, it looks a bit strange, and it's harder to focus on the toe, but you must land on the toe, not on the heel. Okay, that's straight legs. So next we're going to work a little bit of the quads. So we're jumping like this. Nice soft landing. You don't want to go all the way down, it's not a full jump lunge. This one we call cross country skier. Doesn't really matter which arm you use with which leg. I always get a bit confused on it. As long as it feels good, doesn't matter. Okay. Cross-country skier. Jumping jacks, everyone knows this one. So we're starting to work the upper body. General a little bit work on this one. Still trying to be light on my feet with the landing. Okay. And next one, four corners. Do you imagine? Got like a flat screen TV on the floor, big one. So you got one, two, three, four. We're on our toes, we're working adapters and adapters and some random feet movement like this. You see the footballers do this one. It's a good one for running. These are our, these are our supporting running muscles. Especially important for trail running. Okay, so that's four corners. And last one, just on the upper body, just listening up, shoulders and arms. We're going to be touching the ears, touching the hips, and reverse. And then you can also go across, nice and loose, get rid of all that tension, and then slap the back a bit, give yourself a hug. Okay, so that's 12 running drills you can do, suitable for any level. There's many, many more out there, you can mix them up. Um, if you're going to do a hill workout, for example, you might want to choose some different ones from, from a speed workout on a flat. And on a hill workout, you might want to do those on a gentle slope. Uh, but anyway, all these running drills are very, very important uh, as a warm up. So the calf sleeves, they just add a little bit more difficulty and therefore a little bit more effectiveness to the drills. Uh, and as I mentioned before, if you want to make it into a full workout rather than a warm up, add a bit more weight and lower the weight down a bit. Okay, so I'm Jeff from the Running Plan. Those are some dynamic stretching warm up drills for running. Thanks for watching. See you soon.